Then Mr. Fatih rises and he shows how Sharia contradicts the Qur'an. He says, the fact remains that many Sharia laws were at variance with the Qur'an. Fine, can you give us an example? He gives us an example in page 257. He says, if a divorced Muslim woman wishes to remarry her former husband, a Sharia law makes it mandatory on her part to first marry another man, have a voluntary divorce from him. This is called tahleel in the in Islamic law. This is not at variance with the, with the Qur'an, Mr. Fatah. If only you had read the Qur'an. Chapter 2, verse 230, what does Allah say? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say, Allah says, فَإِن طَلَّقَهَا فَلَا تَحِلُّ لَهُ مِن بَعْدُ حَتَّى تَنْكِهَا زَوْجًا غَيْرُهُ Tahleel is there, it's given right there. How can it be at variance? He says, the fact remains that many Sharia laws were at variance with the Qur'an. Fine. Can you give us an example? He gives us an example in page 257. He says, If a divorced Muslim woman wishes to remarry her former husband, a Sharia law makes it mandatory on her part to first marry another man, have a voluntary divorce from him. This is called tahleel in the in Islamic law. This is not at variance with the, with the Qur'an, Mr. Fatah. If only you had read the Qur'an. Chapter 2, verse 230, what does Allah say? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say, Allah says, فَإِن طَلَّقَهَا فَلَا تَحِلُّ لَهُ مِن بَعْدُ حَتَّى تَنْكِهَا زَوْجًا غَيْرُهُ Tahleel is there, it's given right there. How can it be at variance?